Hello, everybody, wherever you may be. My name is Larry. My call signs, Kilo 7, Hotel November, and welcome to what I think is the most important ham radio live show ever. If you're running a vertical or a dipole antenna, that doesn't include you directional folks, okay? If you're running a vertical or a dipole, though, you should be using a receive loop antenna. I'm going to show you proof why. Watch the S meter and the waterfall. Just give me three minutes. That's all I ask. Here's the rig cam on 40 meters. It could be any ham band. It doesn't matter which one. It will always be the same. Now, on the 101 MP that I use, you can see there's no noise reduction whatsoever. It'd be lit up. Something over here would be lit up if it was, but there's no lights. There's the waterfall and a full view of the S meter. This is on a ZS6 BKW dipole antenna at 48 feet. So we're right about S1 to S3, which means 6 to 12 dB of noise is filtering in. But what if we move to the MFJ1788 receive transmit loop antenna? Look at that. Look at the waterfall. Look at the S meter. It's basically zero. Let's go back to the dipole. S1 to S2. That means 6 at least 6 to 9 dB. But what if we go to a vertical? Just switched over to the AV680 high gain vertical, which is a great antenna in its own. Now, we're still at S0 with the loop antenna from MFJ. It's the MFJ1788 receive transmit loop. Let's go now to the vertical and look at that S meter. We're right now up at S3 to S4. That means 12 to 15 dB of noise, not signal, noise. Back to the loop. Waterfall clears up, S meter down to zero. For the most part, right there at zero. Back to the vertical. Noise pops back on the screen and the S meter between S3 and S4. Again, that's 12 to 15 dB of noise. Back to the loop, and there you go. I said we'd keep it under three minutes. That's my goal, and I want to keep my promise to you. Folks, you should be using receive loop if you're using a vertical or a dipole. I've done it for over 45 years in DX work for short wave and medium wave, and I tell you, there's no better way to make your station hear those signals up out of the mud and make you more QSOs. Get yourself a loop antenna like the MFJ1788 or 1786 or the 1886. All are great ones. Thanks for watching. God bless you. See you soon, everybody. Bye-bye.